Hello, I'm Zash, and welcome to episode 44 of my Steins Gates Let's Read. My co-reader seems a bit concerned about Ferris wearing clothes when we arrive. But why wouldn't she be? Though it would be funny if we open the door and she's wearing a suit of powered armor and tells us that we have to go save the Nyanyanyan Empire from the evil dogmen. Anyways, please enjoy this episode. Well? I look over my shoulder with a frown. Oh god, he's brought reinforcements. Good idea. Why are you guys tagging along? Travel in packs, just in case. Yeah. Mayuri and Daru are following me, even though I didn't ask them to come. Krisu stayed back at the lab. Mayushi's never been to Ferris Chan's place. I thought I'd like to visit once, hee <laughs> hee. I mean, it's Ferris Tan's home. No way I'm missing this. That's not surprising. It might be a bad idea to take the Ferris stalker along. A really bad idea. Well, whatever. If Ferris has a problem with it, then we can send him away when we get there. Nothing else matters as long as I get Ferris to search for an IBM 5100. Of course, if the IBM 5100's at Yanbayashi Shrine, then it won't even be necessary. I stop by the shrine, but Lukako's not there. I guess he was out when he answered the phone earlier. I've got no other choice, so I've gone to the humble shrine's office and pressed the intercom button. Luca's dad comes out. When I try asking him if the IBM 5100 was donated to the shrine, he answers, It certainly was. But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere and he has no idea where it went. Oh crap. I ask if he lent me the IBM 5100 before, but that event is gone from his memory. Well, that was quick. What's going on here? While heading towards Faris's place, I analyze the situation. You broke causality. Nice job breaking it, hero. Oh, a little bit. The IBN 5100 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was there just a few days ago. It has also disappeared from Yan Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like some god is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The D-mails definitely have something to do with this. I can only begin to imagine how the past has changed. You know, how about you ask someone? Just a thought. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Faris. Hmm. The usual weekend crowd packs the front of Akiba, sh Akiba sh Station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms diligently distribute flyers to the passerbys. Which is actually a thing in Akiba. I appreciate their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? After a few melanin-boosting moments walking in the sun, I come to a sudden stop. What's wrong? I've caught sight of a woman sitting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on her phone. That's gotta be Lab Mem 5 Kiryu, Kiryu Moeika. Wait, is she still a Lab Mem? Mayuri and Daru don't remember her. Oh, well, whatever. Well, you s I, didn't he say uh, Kiryu Moeika would always be a Lab Mem in his heart? And isn't that good enough to be a Lab Mem? Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what it is anyway. What luck! There's something I need to ask her. I run up to Moeka. Hey, Shining Finger! I try getting her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. She looks a bit distressed to me. Does she look distressed to you? Yeah, yeah, a little. I feel... I feel I feel Oh, oh my god. Gone, gone, gone. Why is it gone? Why can't I find it? Is it really in this town? Don't tell me it's already. Okay, something's really messed with her. E yeah, like, either she's really, really depending on getting that IBM 5100, or something's gone a little wonky in between timelines. Yeah. Are you listening, Shining Finger? It's obvious she isn't. 
should be should be here. Has to be. If B says so. No reaction. Kirio Moika! Moika stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, oh she just looks at my feet. Okay, Mika. Did you take the IBN 5100 from the lab? Mayuri and Daru look askance at me, but I ignore them. Askance. That's a word I've never actually encountered. Yeah. Well, oh, I'll probably put a dictionary definition of the word on the screen when I in post. From what I've gathered from reading books, it means kind of like a bad way. Yeah. What is wrong with you kind yeah, of look? Yeah, that's what I figured from context, but still. I'll go ask dictionary.com later. I don't want to believe that it was you. You're a fellow lab ma'am after all. But you did display an unhealthy attachment to that computer. Did? So, was it you? You found an IBM 5100? I found one, but it's gone missing. Missing? Don't worry. I won't report you to the police. As long as you return it, that is. Oopsies. The normally expressionless Moeka frowns in be bewilderment. You don't remember, do you? Moeka shakes her head faintly. Then she looks down and begins operating her phone at high speed. Three, two, one. Yep. You're not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find an IBM 5100? Where? She really doesn't know? If the IBM 5100 had been stolen from the lab, then Moeka would be my first suspect. Might do. But the IBM 5100 disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine, not the lab. It can't have been Moeka's doing. So, it was the D-mail? Or perhaps it was the work of CERN? I'm sorry, Finger. Now there's don't, a weird- Don't cut it like that. Yeah. I squat in front of Moeka and bow my head. I suspected you. A lab mem. A comrade. I'm the worst of all men. Hit me, please. I don't mind. But there's one thing I want you to know. In my long years running from the organization, I've grown unable to trust anyone. Why? Why did I have to be born with these gifts that others covet? Once I start to suspect, Everyone looks suspicious. No matter how many comrades gather around me, I always feel alone. Pitiful, aren't I? Just tell me about the Abbey and Did Did you just ignore my entire speech? Hey, Okarin, you're doing improv in the middle of the street. Has the heat gone to your head? Ellipses. So Moeka doesn't know I had an IBM 5100. And judging from her responses, she hasn't found one either. Yeah, she seems... I might get the stress. I... Uh, yeah. Don't know why she is so desperate for an IBM, but... Yeah. Well... She seems a bit upset that she hasn't found one. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, makes you wonder if she's got something she really needs it for. Yeah. Hey, maybe she's, like, another member of a uh, anti-CERN resistance, and they're trying to do the same thing we are? Well, um, to be honest, I've just kind of been working on the assumption that she's working against CERN, but that might end up being completely untrue. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like I'm getting further and further away from my goal. Hey, I've been thinking... Oh god. Pat, pat, pat. Don't strain yourself too much, Mayuri. Thinking is bad for you, Moika Sand sure is pretty, isn't she? She's got a nice figure and she's tall, too. Uh oh. She'd look great in one of my costumes, see he? Yep. Oh, darling. Thought that was going there. What? For a second, I doubt my ears. I approach Mayuri. You've met Moika before? Sure I have! What? When? I grab Mayuri by the shoulders and shake her. Her head bounces back and forth. And this is why she is so clueless. 
She's taken so much head trauma from being shook and by Okabe all the time. That is a high possibility. Um... When you brought her to the lab... I did? Daru, do you remember her? Sure! We met at the lab! Ellipses. That's a time that didn't happen. Yeah. Maybe? After Moika sent her D-mail, Mayuri, Daru, and Krisu behaved as if they had never met her before. But now, both Mayuri and Daru know her? So Luca's email brought... did something that brought Moika back into the fold. Like, do... do, do Luca and Moika know each other now or something? I, I and like, don't... they were friends and... I don't know, but she wouldn't be freaking out so bad if she didn't have it. Yeah. You know, unless she has a bug in the lab, it's not like she can tell where he's going to go, so she can sit there and have an episode. Yeah. It's just weird because you, you have to assume that that's a different situation than the one that he remembers. Yeah. Unless, you know, unless changing world lines means that she's got her old phone again, but then that was still changing. So she was there for another reason entirely. That's a good question. What We should have checked that while we had her on the screen. I'll have to check that back in uh, post, but did she have her old purple phone or did she have a different it, phone? It was purple. It doesn't mean her old one wasn't purple. Well, it, it wasn't. Her old one was purple because we saw it. Or the one she changed from, like, the one she sent the D-mail on from was purple. So that was the phone she was going to keep. Well, yeah, maybe she likes a, purple and the old one was purple, too. Yeah, that's, it doesn't mean her old one purple. I mean, that one yeah. was kind of a really yeah. sharp neon purple. The one she's holding is mm -hmm. more like a pinky, dark pinky purple. So I don't know if that's just the art messing with us or... Yeah, it could be an art or it could be lighting or something. I don't know. But yeah, like, if it was a completely different color, then we'd know for sure it changed, but... but yeah, Chris, you would a... I would presume that the world lines that he's trailing from follow the same pattern, yeah, the... because they remember Luke yeah. getting the Lotto 6 numbers, don't they? Yeah. So, so some it, things have he's changed. on the world line where that yeah. happened. So presumably yeah. she'd have her own phone. Yeah. Which means she's never been to the lab for a phone. So she's been there for yeah. another reason. What reason would yeah. that be if he doesn't have an idea of Well, she did show up the one time looking for the super hacker. Did they meet her then? Ah, uh, I don't know. Because in remember. the before I it think changed so. with Luca, yeah, they I didn't. Think, uh, yeah, she like this was way before. This was before the first email or the. Uh, this was before Moeka sent her email or and before they were even really experimenting with emails. Yeah, and, but uh, when uh, when it changed after she did the phone before they messed with Luca, yeah. they didn't remember Moika at all. Yeah, but what I'm thinking is uh, Luca's D mail somehow changed things back, so she did show up for the uh, previous things. I don't know how, but I I don't know. But yeah. you have to ask, like you have to wonder, because he doesn't have those memories. Yeah, he doesn't know if it's that first meeting that they're remembering. Or if it's another one entirely. Yeah, that is. He has to. He should ask, but knowing him, he won't. But how do Mayuri and Daru know her? Does that mean Moika's past was reconstructed again? Given the timing, it has to be Lukako's D mail that did it. But all he did was tell his mother to eat a lot of vegetables. How can that be related to the lab mem's knowledge of Moika? Butterfly. Well, that's a question, too, because I have to wonder if she. How does not changing the model of her phone keep her from coming to the lab to ask about Gabby and Vicky? That is a good question. I have no idea how that happened, but... So, it, I don't know if that first meeting is what is being affected at all, to be honest. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll all be that explained in the... <laughs> yeah. Hopefully this will all be explained at some point. Is this another example of the butterfly effect? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The cause doesn't match the effect at all. That's pretty much the butterfly effect in a package. Yeah. If you tell your mom to eat more vegetables, you grow a second head. Okarin, we need to get going. Ferris Chan's waiting, remember? Please be wearing clothes. That's true. Yes, please be wearing clothes. 
Let's think about the Moika issue later. Right now, we should look for the address written on the mo memo pad. By the way, Mayuri, what's Ferris's real name? Whoa, Okarin, hold on there. Ferris Ten's name is Ferris Nyanyan. She doesn't have any other names. Face reality, Daru. Ferris Nyanyan is just her professional name. Because she's a working girl. No, um... No. Well. Uh, you're the worst. Why do you have to crush my dreams like that, man? Yeah, but Daru, you learned who she is. You might actually have a shot with her. Quit grumbling. You just can't handle the truth. You want the truth? You can't handle, handle the, truth. the truth. Well, he doesn't want the truth because he can't handle the truth. Well, that's true. At least he knows his own limits. Yeah. Well, Mary, don't you know it? Um, is it okay for me, she, to tell you? It's not like you took a vow of secrecy, right? And besides, we're visiting her home, so we'll find out soon enough. Watch on the uh, door, it'll be labeled Ferris Nyan Yeah. Oh, I guess you're right. So, is that a thing? Like, they have their names on doors, cause... Well, like, if she's an apartment building, like, in the directory? There's a directory. Well, when you live in an apartment building, to buzz in, you need a, uh... to phone up so whoever you're visiting can buzz you in through the front door. And it's usually a directory there that says if you're visiting a smith, it's 123. If you're visiting a sapere, it's 245, etc., etc. So, yeah. It's interesting. It's a high-class apartment building. Most, apart most apartments have that, at My least. Part, the apartment buildings I've lived in, you just climb stairs and knock on a door. <laughs> and I do know what you're talking about. But just promise me you'll keep it secret, okay? Like from the masters who come to May Queen. Okay, don't tell the customers. Gotcha. I nod. Okay. Ferris Chen's real name is Akia Rumiho-chan. That's actually pretty. Her family name is Akiha. They live in Akiba. Hmm. No, I'm just wondering if something, uh, no, I'm just, no, that's awfully similar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not listening. Daru covers his ears and drowns the sound out. Akiha. Same characters as in Akihabara. Appropriate. Yeah. Hmm. Same kanji, though? That's what I want. I think so. That's a big building. Our destination turns out to be the high-rise apartment building next to UPX. Oh, see, she's got a nice place. All right. Wow! Awesome! Wait, seriously? She lives here? Okay, this is leading credence to the uh, fact that she is somehow related to the people who own the city. Because there's no way a maid could afford to live, uh, like a maid waitress could afford to live here. Unless she yeah. is also like a high class hooker. No joke. I mean. We stand there for a while, staring wide eye at the tower building before us. According to the ant address Ferris gave us, she lives on the top floor, all the way up there. Did we get the address wrong? No. I wouldn't make such a stupid mistake. Don't tell me Ferris is working for the organization. That would be another reason why she could afford here. That's not where my mind went, but okay. I... Nothing. Yeah, well, it's a... it's a... valid theory, like, she... like... it would take a lot of money to live here. It's like a, an apartment building in the middle yeah. of downtown. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... I, w I think she has something to do with the Akihabara thing. <laughs> I quickly scan the area. No suspicious figures in sight. Does she have men in black waiting to haul us off to re a re-education camp? Nice delusion, man. The truth is stranger than fiction. I don't know, man. They're time traveling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the truth could be more stranger than Okabe's uh, organization theory. True that. Besides, 
Don't you think it would be super moe if Ferris Tan turned out to be a rich girl character? But Daru, come on, you're tapping the fourth wall. Well, at least she's not the rich bitch ca character. I kind of appreciate how self-aware this game is. Yeah. Nice delusions yourself, man. Anyway, let's go in. When we call the top floor room via o intercom, we're greeted by the voice of an elderly man. He lets us in immediately once I introduce myself as Hoi in Kyoma. It feels like we're walking into a trap but I can't turn back now.